is on the other side They call me every time I'll done my best to I Midnight's a brush of light Kazani Lisedi. Hello everyone and welcome to the one-on-one -on -one sessions with Gogo Msore and I'm your host Gogo Msore. Giving you tips on everything spirituality so if you're new to my channel please like and subscribe to it. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I post anything new and leave a comment on the comment section so we can all have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue based on everything that we're going to be talking about and if you wish to contact me for consultation purposes only the number is 0655 So today's topic is the power of manifesting I know that we're all asking ourselves, what is manifestation? What do they mean when they say you manifest something? Well, manifestation is to mentally harness something into reality, putting something into the physical realm by just thinking about it, directing your feelings towards it and believing with your entire heart that you know what? I am going to put this into light. I am going to make this a reality. And one thing I know is that like um, a lot of religions and spiritual practices actually teaches, well, not really teaches, they encourage us to manifest the things that, they, that we want without us even noticing that we are manifesting these things. You can manifest things consciously or subconsciously without you even noticing that you are manifesting these things. And the importance of manifesting is that you... um you it helps you in terms of the things that you want to achieve it helps you get the things you want to achieve when you manifest the things that you want to achieve in life chances are you are going to get them but as much as manifestation could be so good it also has its cons okay so like i mentioned above you can consciously or subconsciously manifest things now with all that being said it is very possible for you to manifest negative things in your life because of how you think and how you feel about them. Then. So if you keep thinking, I am not going to get that job. I am not going to get that promotion. I am going to die alone. You are actually manifesting all those things into your life. You are directing your energy the wrong way, the negative way. You need to stay positive instead of negative all the time if you want to keep manifesting good things into your life. And another thing, you are also actually manifesting those things if you are constantly depressed or sad or angry. You are calling upon negative energy towards you. You are manifesting the bad things, the negative things which is something that you don't want to do so people protect your energies okay um i know that we all want to know how does manifestation work okay so manifestation um okay in manifestation eh, your thoughts and your beliefs and your energy can create your reality okay i believe that um i explained that very well above there but um the thing is, now uh, you as a person, you need to distinguish whether or not you are directing your energy into the good things or the bad things. You need to be sure whether you're manifesting all the right things in life or not. Manifestation can also works for the actions that we take. Because you cannot just sit down and say, you know what, I'm manifesting a great job and not apply for any. That is completely impossible. You also need to act when you're manifesting things. Because manifesting is like, um, for example, I take my CV and I apply for a really good job right now. And um, the thing I will do is that I will not constantly sit down and say, oh my God, they're not going to take me. Oh my God, I do not have the proper qualifications. Oh my gosh, there are going to be other people with better things or better things to say and better qualifications. They're not going to take me. You're not supposed to do that. Yes, you're going to act on it. And you're also going to believe with your entire heart that you know what? I got this. And you know what? You will get this. <laughs> I don't want to lie to you. And um, ways to successfully manifest something into reality. I listed four of these things because I feel like they are the most important things that you need to know how to do or you need to focus on when you are manifesting something. Number one, you need to set a goal. Set a goal and say, you know what? I am going to get this in this duration of time. And what you're going to do when you do this is that you're going to believe with your entire heart that this is what you're going to get. And another thing needs to be something that you believe in your heart that you want this. Something that you know cannot easily be shaken by just anything or anybody. You have to believe it yourself that you know what? I am truly manifesting this thing with all my heart because I believe in this thing. Okay. Number two. There are going to be obstacles in everything that we do. We know that this is life. It's unpredictable. But try to, sh like, 
get rid of everything that can come in the way of your manifestation be it friends um negative family members colleagues who constantly tell you that you're not going to make it that type of energy is something that you don't want because as much as you can say you know what no matter what people say i'm not gonna listen to what they say no the thing is the main friend tells you oh man jump come back to reality you're not going to achieve that you're not going to do that that thing actually sticks in our minds and eventually we end up manifesting the negative things because we constantly go keep going back to those words that were told to us so at the end of the day you have to make sure that you keep your circle clean you protect your energy as a person and make sure that the people around you are not the kind of people who are going to um block you from actually getting what you want by just saying things that will actually affect you in the mind and affect your emotions and affect the way that you believe are going to get things okay and number three you start visualizing the things that you want okay so if um i want to manifest okay i'm putting my examples on getting a job right so if i want to manifest getting a job of course, I'm going to believe that, you know what, I'm going to get this job. I'm really going to get this job. And I'm going to, like, push away all the obstacles that could be there coming between me and getting this job. But another thing that you should do is um, visualize it, you know. Think about getting it. Think about how it's going to be when you get it. Think about how it's going to be when you actually open up that business. How it will look. How you will feel. How amazing the whole experience will be. When you do that, you're already, like... It's like a mind over matter type of thing, you know. You're actually putting those things in your head into reality because you're constantly putting your energy into those things, which is something that you should constantly do when you're manifesting things. You make sure that your energy, your thoughts, your beliefs, all the things that you have, all the things that you are, are focused on this specific thing that you want. And lastly, you have to act on it you're done visualizing you're done thinking about it you're done feeling about it now you have to actually take action well <laughs> i know this is kind of tricky because there's not really any action that is specific when it comes to manifesting things but you can't really just always sit down and say i'm thinking about this but I'm not doing anything about it. What's the point? If you want to win the lotto, manifest it, but also play. You can't just wake up one morning and you're like, you won the Powerball, but you never even played a single ticket. It's crazy. Or you can't just wake up one morning and think of like, your business is going to be selling. You never opened a business or you got this job. You never applied for this job. You need to actually act on those things when it is necessary or where it is necessary. Even though not everything can be manifested, even though anything cannot be put into action when you're manifesting them, the things that can be put into action, you need to do that as a person to ensure that you actually get the results that you want. Okay, so that is it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. I hope it was very useful to you guys. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful one. Bye-bye.